Hi there, welcome to Crafty Crochet Castle. I'm Janila and I'm excited to share a beginner friendly tutorial with you. We'll be crocheting a fall wreath featuring crocheted maple leaves and crocheted pumpkins. It's the perfect cozy crochet combo. So let's dive in and get started. If you are new, please subscribe to my channel. To crochet the maple leaves, I'm using Yarn B Yarntopia yarn in gold and rust. This is 100% acrylic fine yarn and I'm using a 2.5 mm crochet hook. You would also need scissors and yarn needle for the leaves. For the pumpkins, I'm using 100% acrylic worsted weight yarn in two colors and a 4 mm crochet hook. You can crochet your pumpkins in all sorts of colors. You would also need scissors, yarn needle and polyester fiber fill. For the wreath, I'm using this 14 inch wreath ring. This is a metal wreath ring frame that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I'm using Yarn Be True Colors yarn in the color Amber Glow. This is 100% acrylic super bulky yarn. And I'm using a 9mm crochet hook along with this. You would also need scissors, yarn needle and a glue gun if you would prefer to hot glue your pumpkins and leaves to your wreath. Now let us get started working on our wreath. We will be crocheting around this wreath frame. So for that I am taking two strands of super bulky yarn and a 9mm crochet hook and I will start the pattern by doing a slip knot. There are many different methods to do a slip knot. You can do your most preferred one. Here I am going to show you how to do a slip knot. To do so hold your yarn like this and wrap it around your two fingers. Next cross it over at the point where the yarn meets. Pinch here and take this little loop out. Now insert your hook inside the loop, yarn over and bring a loop. This is from the skein end and now grab your tail and the yarn on the hook and start pulling on the opposite directions. And this forms a knot over here and this is the slip knot. Now the loop on the hook is very loose and big and so we have to adjust its tension. To do so I will insert my hook inside the loop grab the tail and grab the yarn from the skein and start pulling them in the other directions. As you can see the loop on the hook is getting smaller and smaller and when it is of the correct tension you can stop pulling and make sure it's not too tight or not too loose and your hook should be able to move freely. So now we have made our slip knot over here now let's get started working on our wreath. To do so, I will be crocheting a single crochet around the wreath. Since the wreath frame is big, I'm going to show you how I work around the wreath. So to crochet around the wreath, I will be holding my slip knot at the top of a wreath over here. And the yarn from the skein will be at the top as well. But it would be left behind our project like this. So we will be working single crochets all the way around our wreath frame over here. Since the wreath frame is big, it will be a little bit challenging to use our hook to grab the yarn for the single crochet so I will be using my hands to do that and I will use the hook to complete the single crochet stitch so now let me show you how I do that so I will be using my hands to grab the yarn from the skein and I will bring it behind the project like this and I will bring it all the way from the bottom to the top and I will wrap it around a hook like this and I will bring the yarn again all the way from the top to the bottom and then I will bring it from the bottom to the top on the back side like this and I will hold it over here. So now we have replicated a single crochet over here using our hands. So we have two loops over here. This is the loop on the hook and this is the loop that we just grabbed from the yarn from the skein. So because we have two strands over here it would look like four loops but it is just two loops over here. These two are one loop and these two are one loop. So now I will yarn over and this is from the skein end and I will bring this through the loop over here and the loop on the hook. So there we have actually made one single crochet and this is how I will be working on single crochets all the way around our wreath over here. So once again I will grab the yarn like this, I will bring it to the top, wrap it around the hook and I will bring the yarn all the way to the back over here and I will bring it at the top. So now I will yarn over, pull through the loop and the loop on the hook. And this is how I will be working all the way around. The 
this is how the top of our project will look and this is the front side and this is the back side so we will be crocheting all the way around the wire wreath over here so i will work on this all the way around and i will meet you once when i finish covering up this wire wreath frame with the single crochet stitches this is how the wreath looks after we crochet all around it now it's time to finish it off to finish it off i will be doing a slip stitch in the very first stitch on top of our wreath over here so to do so i will insert my hook inside the very first stitch on the top and then i will yarn over and bring a loop through the stitch and through the loop on the hook now we have joined with a slip stitch we can fasten off over here to do so i'm going to leave a tail and trim the yarn over here and then I will yarn over, bring the tail through the loop on the hook and pull it all the way through like this. Then I'm going to pull it tight to secure it over here. Now let's weave in these two tails. This is the right side and this is the wrong side of our wreath. For weaving it in, you can either use a yarn needle. But since this yarn is very thick, I'm going to use the hook to weave it in. To weave it in, I'm going to take one strand of yarn over here and i'm going to insert my hook under these loops over here and i will yarn over the tail and i will bring it under these stitches i've hidden all the tails at the back of our project over here and this is the wrong side and this is the completed wreath now let us finish this wreath into a beautiful fall wreath for that i'm using five of these maple leaves the pattern for the leaves are in the description box below and i'm also using four small size pumpkin and one medium size pumpkin the link for the pumpkins are also in the description box below so i will be arranging these on one side of our wreath over here and i will be using a hot glue to attach them you can sew them if you would prefer that this is how i plan to attach them you can use any colors of your choice and you can add more pumpkins as well i will meet you once when i glue all these in place and this is the completed fall wreath don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching